Uh-oh, my VPS isn't working. The Gala Games node rollout of the new IPFS enabled nodes is continuing. And it looks like we may need to upgrade our VPS to a higher configuration. Running Gala Games nodes rewards you with cryptocurrency daily and gives you a chance at receiving NFTs from games and art from across the Gala Games network. The rollout of the new Gala Games node software is underway, and the new software takes a bit more power to run. Not crazy Bitcoin mining power, but a bit more as the new nodes will be doing more work. In the video, New IPFS Gala Games nodes are here, linked in the upper right, we talked about the phased rollout of the new IPFS enabled Gala Games nodes. At the time, it appeared that the nodes that were running on a low-end number one Windows VPS were doing okay. But sadly, this is no longer the case. The nodes that I had running on that configuration all crashed. And when they were restarted, they crashed again in just a few hours. So, what do we do? First of all, don't freak out. You have options. If you are currently running a number one Windows VPS from PIVPS or another low-end configuration from another provider, I would recommend upgrading your VPS before installing the new Gala Games node software. If you're not ready to do this just yet, you don't need to update your nodes right now. Even if you see the upgrade button, you don't need to click it yet. The older 1.0.1 version of the node software still works on this configuration and will still give you your daily points and reward you with Gala cryptocurrency every day. But what if you have a low-end VPS and have already updated your node to the new software? Well, you could upgrade your VPS now, but what if you don't want to do that? In that case, you can always go back to the Gala Games website and re-download the old node software and reinstall that, at least for now. But don't leave the new software running on a number one Windows VPS from PIVPS. It's likely to crash, which could cause the node to not be online for the full six hours needed in order to claim your rewards. And you don't want to miss even a single day of rewards. Better to be safe. Of course, the safest thing is to upgrade your VPS. You'll have to do it eventually. So why not now? But what do you upgrade to? To help figure out what works best, I currently have nodes running on the following configurations. Number one, number two, number three, and number four. The number one windows have all been crashing, so we definitely don't want to use those. I also had the number two windows configuration crash on me once so far, so I'm a bit leery of that one. All of the number three configs have been working just fine, and I'm sure you can guess that the number four is working just fine as well. So which one should you get? While the official requirements still haven't been released yet, a while back, Gala Games did release some initial estimated requirements. Those estimated requirements are a stable internet connection, four gigabytes of RAM, two CPU cores, 20 gigabytes of extra space, and port forwarding authority. These preliminary specs correspond to a number three Windows VPS at PIVPS. Let's go through how to actually do the upgrade. First, we click on Services in the left nav, then My Services. Then, next to the VPS we want to upgrade, click the Manage button. Then the Upgrade slash Downgrade in the right nav. PIVPS will charge a prorated rate based on where you are in your current billing cycle. Once you receive the email that your upgrade is complete, first check your node to make sure it has 100% of its goal for the day. Once it has, you can finish the upgrade. Now we need to stop and restart the server. Note that by doing this, it will wipe clean our old server and create a new one. Therefore, we will need to set it up from scratch again. To do this, go back to the services page on PIVPS and click manage for the VPS you upgraded. It may take a little while for the control panel to come up. Once it does, we're going to click this power button to power off our old VPS. Then once it is shut down, Use the Start button to start it back up. Once it's all started back up, we can log into our newly upgraded server using Microsoft Remote Desktop or another tool and set up the server from scratch. This means that we need to first change the GUID, then download and install the node software. For more detailed information on how to do this, be sure to check out the node setup video 
linked in the upper right of this video. Keep in mind that depending on where Gala Games is on the phased rollout of the new nodes when you're doing this, that the node software you download from the website may not be the latest version. However, you can just do a check for update on the node and go from there. And that's it. We now have our node running on our upgraded VPS. As stated earlier, I'm testing out various VPS configurations to see how well each works with the new nodes and what the optimal configuration may be. It looks like we can cross the number one Windows VPS off the list as it keeps crashing. Even though the number two Windows VPS crashed on me once, I'm gonna keep testing it to see how it does in the future. While so far the most promising setup seems to be the number three, I'm also gonna continue testing the number four to see if it has any difference in performance. I'll be sure to update you in future videos on how well the new Gala Games nodes works on each of these configurations. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Please hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.